Thank you everyone for coming to our research presentation today. Today's topic is about our observation of butterfly pupae using the proton magnetic resonance imaging device. Most insects undergo metamorphosis that changes their appearance significantly during their growth. Especially for butterflies, the changes in eggs, larvae, pupae, and adults are clear, and the appearance of larvae and adults is completely different. Therefore, many people have been interested in how the butterflies changed from larvae to adults in the pupae during this period. In Japan, for example, the story of a princess who is looking forward to seeing larvae appears in the Tsutsumi Chunagon stories, which was established around 1000 years ago. Changes in the pupa were found in Drosophila and Califora flies, and papers studied by anatomical methods were published. However, these methods require a large amount of pupae for each type, and the pupae used in the experiment will surely die in one observation. So continuous research in the true sense is not possible. Among the butterflies, Loetorphia japonica butterfly, who appears only in early spring and is known to the general public as one of the butterflies that signals the arrival of spring, has a pupal period of nearly nine months, so how the inside of the pupa changes during that time, there was particular interest in whether or not they were doing so, and in fact, research was conducted to dissect the pupae of this species at regular intervals and examine their internal dynamics. However, the paper did not include a diagram of the inside of the pupa, and it was difficult to accurately track changes in the structure because the original structure was deformed by dissection. Under these circumstances, from the latter half of the 20 hundreds, the structure inside the pupa was photographed by synchrotron X-ray photography, and in 2013, the internal change of Vanessa Cardui pupa was performed using the CT scan method, and an article that investigated this result was published. However, this method also seems to have a very large effect on the pupae, and there was a problem that about half of the pupae examined died. On the other hand, from the latter half of the 20 hundreds, a paper examining the inside of butterfly and moth pupae using proton magnetic resonance imaging, which can take cross-sectional images of the human body without being affected by radiation had been published. Because, this method can theoretically examine detailed changes inside the pupa without giving a strong blow to the creatures. In fact, in 2015, a paper was published that clearly tracked changes in the alimentary tract from the late larval stage to just before emergence of Manduca sexta, which is a member of the large hawk moth family from North America. It was thought that these movements would spread rapidly but if the images were taken with the equipment for the human body as it is or with auxiliary equipment for small animals attached, it would be possible to handle a sample about the size of a small mammal. At last, shooting a small sample such as a butterfly pupa did not give the required image quality and made no progress. Some researchers began to take pictures of small samples by attaching their own parts to the proton magnetic resonance spectrometer that was originally used to determine the structure of compounds. But the development of analyzers in the United States of America, the manufacturing company Bruker has commercialized this and has developed an ultra-high magnetic field vertical type nuclear magnetic resonance imaging equipment that can photograph small samples with high resolution. This type of equipments were introduced to universities and institutes, and one of them Ascend 400WB was installed in Technology Joint Management Office, Tokai University. A comprehensive agreement on research exchange was signed between Tokai University and Tokyo City University in 2018, as a consistent this, between Professor Kulota Kagayaki in visualization of heat and mass transfer in human body using proton magnetic resonance imaging, Tokai University, and teacher Nyahela Kinyako in Natural Sciences of Graduate School of Integrative Science and Engineering in Tokyo City University. They agreed to share the use of a Ascend 400WB to observe inside butterfly pupa. Additionally, Inoue Takashi who had already CO researched with Nyahela on puddling behavior of Japanese papilio butterflies and ecological research of Fijian papilio schmelzii, and Dr. Honda K. Ichi, who had already observed the inside of Loetorphia japonica, participated in this research project. We used three types of Papillionidae species have different annual life cycles, those are Papilio bionar, Loetorphia japonica, and Parnassus glacialis. 
Papilio biener is possible to switch between diapause pupae and non-diapause pupae depending on the time of year, and it is easy to distinguish which pupa has become. Loeterfia japonica spends a long time from early summer to early spring of the following year in pupa, and some anatomical knowledge of this species had been obtained. Last species Parnassus glacialis spends a long time from late spring to early spring of the following year in egg, and only the spring season in pupa. Since these three species belong to the Papilionini, Xeranthiini, and Parnassiini of the four subfamilies of the Papilionidae, we thought our results of development of pupa could be associated with phylogenetic topics. Kuloda and his collaborators imaged changes inside the pupa of the Tripoxylus dichotomus by proton magnetic resonance imaging in 2018, and based on the results, we were able to set the imaging conditions for various butterflies this time. With the above preparations in place, we started shooting in sequence from December 2018. Today, we would like to share with you some of the results we have gained through this shoot, primarily on the overall development of the pupae. First, we will give an overview of the proton magnetic resonance imaging method we used this time. Some of the nuclei that make up an atom have the properties of a magnet. The atomic nucleus of the hydrogen atom, which has the simplest structure of all the atomic nuclei and is contained in a large amount in the living body and is composed of one proton, also has the property of a magnet. Normally, the orientation of the as each of the protons in the magnet is falling apart, as a whole does not indicate the nature of as a magnet. When exerting a strong magnetic force from the outside here, the orientation of the magnet of protons, when the external magnetic field of 1.5 Tesla. The 1 million and 9 protons of protons align in the direction of the magnetic force among 2 million and 9 protons. It will show the properties of magnets as a whole. At this time, the protons as a magnet makes a precession similar to that of a top that is about to stop centering on the direction of the magnetic force from the outside. The frequency of this precession is called the Larmor frequency after the discoverer, and is determined by the product of the strength of the magnetic force applied from the outside and the gyromagnetic ratio, which is the physical constant of each proton. When the external magnetic field of 9.4 Tesla, the Larmor frequency of the protons will be 400 MHz. This indicates that the protons make precession 400 million times per second, which is about the same as the UHF radio wave. When an electromagnetic wave with the same frequency as the Larmor frequency is irradiated here, the proton of which axis of rotation of the precession points in the same direction as the line of magnetic force absorbs the energy of this electromagnetic wave, and the axis of rotation of the precession opposes the line of magnetic force. The number of protons that change direction increases so that they are oriented in the same direction. When this irradiation is stopped, the rotation axis of the precession of each proton returns to the state before irradiation. But the time required at this time depends on the environment in which each proton is placed in each tissue. Proton magnetic resonance imaging detects signals generated when the orientation of these protons returns and images the number of protons that have changed their orientation and the difference in the way they return. However, it is impossible to obtain information of signal of the proton at which position is emitting. Therefore, a gradient magnetic field of which intensity changes in proportion to the distance, which is different from the magnetic force used to align the precession axes of proton, is applied at the same time. This frequency of precession of the protons can be proton as they are in the same chemical environment, because it varies depending on the position, you can determine the location of each proton. Proton magnetic resonance imaging apparatus, thus from the results in which a plurality of information obtained is overlapping, configure an image. Thus, information obtained by the proton magnetic resonance imaging is a reflection of the environment around the protons. The radiography for imaging information that depends on the amount of absorption of differences in X-ray in the body, we can get completely different information. In the equipment for observing small animals that we used this time, the coil that generates magnetic force is placed in the vertical direction, whereas the coil for the human body that is often seen in hospitals is placed in the horizontal direction and its diameter even 25 mm and has become very small. Thus, since the magnetic field lines are squeezed in a small space than medical instruments, 
the density of lines of magnetic force greatly affects the resolution have been more than three times of the medical devices, and has a spatial resolution of about 10 micrometers. In addition, this equipment can be used as a nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometer used to determine the structure of chemical substances by exchanging accessories. So it can be operated efficiently. Moreover, since this device can cool the gradient magnetic field coil, the electrical characteristics can be stabilized over a long period of time, so stable images can be obtained even during long-term imaging. How often to actually image various pupae using this device is determined by Suzuki's announcement of weight changes in diapausing and non-diapausing pupae, and internal changes in the pupa to some extent, with the track record of Luetorphia japonica that are grasped in reference, has decided as in this figure. Diapause pupa of Papilio biener was also decided as in this picture. Non-diapause pupa of Papilio biener and Parnassus glacialis of which pupal period is short has to be imaged on a daily basis. The period of time covered with a blue line to the band of non-diapause pupa of Papilio biener and Luetorphia japonica indicates that was managed by about 4 degrees temperature. At the same time, we recorded changes in the weight of these butterfly pupae.